Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the second part of my Tamiya 135th scale Panzer Kampfwagen 2 build. This is where we left off last time. The basic part of the build is done and I have gone ahead and masked the inside of the turret which we had earlier painted white. While there are many ways to paint a tank, I will be going with a shadow coat or pre-shading the kit. The idea is rather simple. We start off by painting the kit with black and white paints. This base or shadow coat later shows through the subsequent top paint, providing modulation and variation in what could otherwise be a rather dull monotone paint job. I will start off by giving the entire kit a base coat of black. I will take these wheels off for now just to make painting the kit easier. It's time to create some basic shadow work on the kit. So I take this X2 white and paint over some parts of the kit. The contrast between the black and white paint will show through the top coat of the German or Panzer Grey, breaking the monotony of the final paint job.
time for the top coat and I had a choice between using the Tamiya Grey or the MIG Grey. I decided to go with the MIG Grey since I have not used it earlier and now would be a good time to try it out. I paint the kit by giving it very light dusty coats of paint. There are two reasons for this. Firstly, I want the shadow coat to show through and I can control this best with light coats. Also, I recently saw a video by Mig Jimenez and this is how he recommended the paint be used for best results. Next, I hand paint the rubber part of the road wheels. The leaf spring suspension is also hand painted black. With the main kit painted, I now start off on all the smaller bits and bobs like tools and the toolbox and so forth. All of these are also first painted black. The only photo etch part, the cover for the exhaust, is now cut and cleaned.
I use this soft polishing stick as a base to help me curve the photo edge piece. Once the piece is curved adequately, I wrap it around a broad paintbrush handle. I now bend it around a thinner brush handle to bend the piece even more. Finally, once I am satisfied with the fit, I paint the piece black. I also sprayed some white on the pieces for the shadow coat. And now I paint them all in the Panzer Dark Grey. Some parts need to be rusted up, like this exhaust. I start the process by giving these parts a coat of red-brown paint. I'm also rusting up this engine cover since I want this to stand out once the tank is done. Another piece I want worn and rusted is this toolbox. I have an assortment of rust, red and yellow pigments here that I will be using for the rust effect. I start off by dabbing the part with some pigment fixer and then applying various rust shades so that I get a nice mottled pattern. I will be using the hairspray chipping technique on the engine cover and the toolbox. To do that, I first give both the pieces a coat of some cheap hairspray.
Next, the parts are given a coat of Panzer Grey. Once the paint is dry, I reactivate the hairspray by moistening the part with some water. I then gently work away at the top layer of paint to expose the rust underneath. These parts will be heavily rusted just to provide a break in the monotony of a Panzer Grey tank. All the small parts are then glued on the kit. Now paint the tools. All the parts are now glued in. The headlights on these kits, I feel, are the weakest link. The instructions suggest that we paint this piece with some metallic paint and pretend that these are glass. I like to scratch build some glass front covers for these lights to make them look more real. And I start off by first drilling a hole in the front frame of the light. Next, I take a clear sprue from an old aircraft kit and cut away a sliver of the sprue. This is then heated and when soft, I push it inside the empty frame. The extra plastic is cut away. Some Tamiya cement is used to clean up the clear plastic and I get a much more realistic looking light.
Well friends, it looks like we are all done with the painting of the kit. We still have to do the tracks and weather the tank. But that will have to wait till the next video. That is all for this part. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. Till next time, good luck and happy modeling.